Okay, folks, we haven't YouTubed for a little while, and um, it's an absolutely horrible winter's day here. It's wet, it's cold, it's yucky, it's vile. And Lucy got up and said, hang on, this is a good opportunity to tell people about moisture and about dampness. So what we're going to do is show you some practical stuff um, in the garage and outside. Lucy's done her trick with a beer bottle and we're going to show you actually what goes on, I hope. So um, I got a hat on because it's throwing it down out there. Uh, if you have a look, it's absolutely, it's snowing, it's sleeting, it's vile. Now, <clears throat> here we have the most important piece of survey equipment and any RICS surveyor that goes into a house without one of these needs to be thrown off the White Cliffs of Dover. Now then, I've just given myself a bit of a shot. The total, the temperature at the moment is 3.4 degrees. All right, so it's not very warm out here, which is why the biomass boiler is running flat out full bore and it's, it's lovely and toasty warm in the house. However, the most amazing thing is, the actual moisture content of the air is 4.93 grams per cubic meter. Now, 4.93 grams in real terms is about half a teaspoonful of water in a cubic meter of air. That's actually one of the driest readings I've seen on this thermohygrometer for a long time. If I walk into a house and I see 4.9 grams, I say, chaps, this is a supremely dry house. Now, practically, just to show you, the Land Rover was sopping wet last night. <clears throat> Look at it. This, this, it's been in the garage, and you'd think in wet weather, it would be soaking wet, but it's not. It's dried out completely, it's dust. Um, <clears throat> and there's a load of, snow fell off the bottom of the Land Rover last night onto the floor. We just brushed it out literally five minutes ago. And you can see here, look, the floor is drying out already. <clears throat> and it's only been brushed out for minutes. So <clears throat> let's try and take this now to the next step. So I'm actually standing in, it's chucking it down. It's snowing, it's sleeting, it's horrible. But it's not changing this. This still says 4.93 grams. In other words, the air itself is incredibly dry. It doesn't contain a lot of water. So if you were to expose parts of the building fabric, like your timber frame, here's a timber frame, here's a lovely big piece of oak. It is bone dry. It can't get wet because there is just not enough moisture in the air. The moment this rain stops hitting the side of the oak, it dries out immediately. There's weatherboarding here. That weatherboarding and the, the weatherboarding on the front here is bone dry. It's not wet. Okay, so what people need to understand from this is that just because it's raining doesn't mean to say that it is sopping wet. So let's have a look at Lucy's experiment. In the summer, Lucy decided to get a bottle of cold beer out of the fridge, about five degrees, and she took it out on the veranda and it was instantaneously running with condensation. That was because in the summer, the air contained about 12 or 14 grams of water in a cubic meter. Right now, it's 4.9. So because it contains a lot more moisture in the air, it condenses on the cold bottle. Now Lucy's put one of her vice beer bottles on the porch and she wants me to show you that because the air is really dry, there's no moisture in the air, her cold beer bottle is not going to get condensation. So let's have a look at it. So, <clears throat> Here we have our vice beer bottle. It's really cold. There's no condensation on it, it's bone dry. 
All right, so because the bottle is cold, in summer, the moisture in the air will condense on it. In winter, it's not. There is no moisture to condense on the bottle, so the bottle stays dry. So what's the point of this little video? I guess the point of it is that what I'm trying to show people is that just because it looks wet, it's not. Just because somebody tells you your timber is wet, it's not. If somebody tells you you've got a damp wall, have you? No. What you need to be looking at is a much more scientific way of assessing what's going on. Generally speaking, the moisture in a building is coming from inside, it's coming from us. There's more moisture inside this building at the moment than there is outside. That moisture is from me, Lucy, my little lad, breathing, showering, etc. And so we produce that moisture. Now, <clears throat> one final thing, if the building fabric is very cold and the air inside has more moisture in it, so let's say we go from 4.9, which is what we got out here, to inside the house where it's about seven or eight grams, that moisture will condense within the walls. And that is what dampness in the house actually is all about. It's just purely and simply moisture that we produce. And we need to make sure that that moisture is taken outside. So you know what? The best way to dry your house at the moment is to ventilate it, to have a little fan, to exchange damp air in the house with dry air that you draw in from outside and warm it up as it comes in. Simple, bring this air into a house and you have one bone dry house no damp problems.